starting to feel like I have to go to the bathroom. Victor? Hi. Oh, hi, Victor. How you doing? Good. How are you? It's good to see you. I know. It's been months since we've seen each other. It's like the big return. Yes. And we were driving down the street, and it's like all these things look different. And Everything's changed. It's I moved. know. They said Sean's gone. we got to rebuild. I know. And I talked to you, and we're going to go see... What movie are we seeing tonight? We're going to see Paul. Paul, the alien film alien. with um, Simon, Simon Pegg, Pegg and Nick Frost. Nick Frost from Shaun of the Dead. And Hot Fuzz. Fuzz, yeah. Those were, were those the only two movies they did together, or were they in more together? I think those were the only two they'd done together, but I know that they were in um, Spaced, that oh, series Oh, Spaced, Spaced, the TV show, yeah. Before they made Shaun of the Dead. Now, do you watch uh, um, British TV shows like Little Britain? Oh, yes. And have you seen the new one, Come Fly With Me? I've seen parts of it, yeah. Yeah, I love that show. I like it when they're the Japanese tourist girls. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> So we're going to go out to Arundel Mills. Yes. And I won't, I wonder what's going to have changed there. I don't know. We'll see. And I'm sorry that MJ can't be here, but he's at Starbucks he's now. He's got to work. I know, but we're going to see him tomorrow, so there'll be some vlogs. I don't know if it'll be this part or the next part. Yep. What it'll be you re reuniting with MJ, but MJ's here all at any, so you could see him any day. <laughs> I know. It's true. But you've got a new haircut, I've noticed. I do. Yep. It's cool. Broke out the clippers and just did it myself. When did you do it? About a week ago. Yeah. It's all fresh. So how's everything with Chainsaw Sally? Because I know the DVD's now out. The DVD is out from Troma. Of uh, course. Distribution. You can find it wherever Troma is sold. Um, it's doing good. Uh, we've started up filming little things here and there that we're going to put out, and you're going to really like it. That's cool. So we're just going to go in the house and pick up yes. someone else who's coming with us. Yes. Your roommate, roommate and then we're going to get going. Yes. So all right. we'll, we'll cut to when we're at Arundel Mills. Well, Victor, yes. here we are at the Cinemark. Remember, what, what was the name of this theater this be before? Movie Co. Movie Co. Yep. And now, I don't think it used to say that extreme digital cinema. No, it's before. all the 3D stuff. Oh, the 3D stuff now? Yeah. How's the theater been? Like, have you been here a lot lately? Yeah, I was here, what, we came last week and we saw, uh, I can't remember. You saw that 80s one, didn't you? That was last night. It was at White Marsh. No, I saw, um, Rango. Rango. Yeah. How was that? Oh, it was fantastic. And that was good? Yeah, Was Rango the 80s was one good? The 80s one was all right. I enjoyed it. Had yeah. great music, of course, you know, from What the was 80s. that called? Like, only Take the Me Home Take Me Home Tonight. Tonight. Yep. We can start walking up. And uh, there's a topless scene in it, and she's got freckles all over the place. Oh, man. <laughs> it's really weird. That's funny. And uh, that scene was really funny. Yep. I don't want to spoil it for you. Yeah, I'm using this new small camera now. Yeah. I, I hopefully it looks and sounds good. Like I don't I don't know how because that one that I use, if you talk too loud, it like blows out the audio really yeah, I weird. I said if there's a light behind you, it really blows it out too. I know. I don't know why it does that. And it's on the iPod um, Nano that they discontinued. Oh. Remember that one that was yeah. real thin? Like all of a sudden they just don't make it. Yep. Now it's all about the iPod um, Touch, which is video. But now they're putting out the iPad video. Oh, the iPad too. But you really can't sneak videos with that because I mean, it's, it's like this, big. this huge thing. It's like um, oh, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Just look the other way. I'm trying to think what the last thing I saw here before I left was. Oh, I don't think I've been here in a long time. I don't know. Well, here, here it is, the Cinemark. Don't you always feel like you're going to Egypt when you come in here? Yes. I've always thought that. Afterwards, we should go to you know Yeez. The yes, the yes, yes. Yes. I heard, I heard they have good salsa and guacamole there. It's delicious. Yeah, yes. Yes. Man, it's freezing. My hands are about to freeze it's off. It's really cold. It's like 35. Man. Degrees. It's funny because I was in Florida with a friend of mine, Max. Yes. You see in the video, and I was getting sunburn there. So I go from sunburn to like freezing and frostbite. <laughs> don't get sick. I know. Why don't get pneumonia and no one gets to see these videos? <laughs> that would be bad. That would be bad. Would be very I know. Bad. Have you seen Hall Pass, Victor? No, I haven't. I wonder how that is. I don't know. And this is all closed up. Now they're putting the wild wings in there. Yeah. They're putting that everywhere, those buffalo wild wings. That was Remomo. Yeah, I don't think I ever went there. It doesn't seem that busy, does it? No. Today is March 3rd, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it would be off if the date was wrong. I don't know if they're lined up over there. I don't know. I'm going to go maybe ask we're, Maybe we're people. so early that no one's here yet. Could be. Maybe. Well, let's go over here to FYE. Yeah, let's go to FYE first. Look at 
that, Howard the Duck for five dollars, and Warner World from Blu-ray for ten. That's, uh, I'll be the only one, as you said, to ha yeah, own that one. Yeah, you're the only person that has that on Blu-ray. I know. Do you see anything cool in here, Victor? Yeah, they had a, they have a Nintendo controller wallet, which I really like. And for once, you can actually film in here because it's not music blurring. Yeah. They're in this part. <laughs> I know. It's music from Berlin. This is like one of the few FYEs that's like this big. I can't find any of them like this in California. That surprises me. I know. And most of them are closed and stuff. It's always so it sucks. I like, you can't... Is this, is this like the biggest one I know of? Yeah, and it's pretty much the only one that's lasted. I know, and they still have toys in here and all yeah. this stuff. They have some good clearance, too, which is I know. good for us poor people. Because well, when you see how big this place is, it's like huge. You know what it reminds me of? is like the old days when Tower Records. Oh, yeah. Around. Remember that? Yep. And Virgin Records. It's almost yeah. like the size of that. It is. I know. And they have all this stuff. Clearances on this, and they said toys and everything. Here's the here's the new thing I've been shooting these with. The new little camera, little teeny cannon thing. Well, we just got to seeing Paul, Victor. Yes. And as as so as you know, you may think a movie about Paul, you might not know what it's about. Right. So Paul's a movie about two guys that are from England that will go to Comic Con. Yes. And I and I think most of it was shot at actually San Diego Comic Con. Like the exteriors some of it might have been faked inside. I couldn't tell. Yeah. For sure. If they were really at Comic Con they when been. it was open, people mm -hmm. would just swamp them. Yeah, I felt like it would be so busy they wouldn't even be able to film. Yeah. But I think they really did. Film Maybe they them. did. Maybe they filmed like on an off time, or they roped an area off that yeah. no one could go to. But they end up going to Comic Con, and while they're in America, they rent an RV. They want to go to all the alien hotspots, mm -hmm. like Area 51, and you know something called the Black Mailbox. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, I never heard of that. And stuff. a couple other little spots. And they end up at the Black Mailbox, seeing an alien. Yeah. That like, and then the alien, they end up taking the alien with them. Yes. And adventures happen along the way. Yep. They meet some crazy characters and have a good adventure with, with Paul the alien. Didn't it kind of remind you of um, a little bit like an 80s space movie? Yeah, it like sure some did. of those, like, um, what was that one? Space Invaders? Or remember that one when the alien, it was like an 80s film when the aliens came to Earth? And became friends with the town or something. They were friends with some kids, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, that one. Yeah. It kind of had that feel it to it. It also felt like Mac and Me. Yeah, it did feel like yeah. Mac and Me. They even referenced Mac it and did. Me in it. Well, they referenced a lot of stuff like E.T. and Close, Close Encounters. Encounters of the third kind. And they had a lot of good cameos yeah, in this, too. Yeah, great cameos. Just great action, actually. It was. Um, a lot of just great comedy. Really surprised at, at this movie. It was a real fun movie. It you know was. what I mean? It's Very not like fun. not to be taken seriously at all. <laughs> but it's fun. Like, yeah. And I would think I think that it's just as good as the other films that they've done together. Oh yeah. And it's a little different. It's because it's you know it's America it's set in America. It is. And it's a di I don't think Nick Frost directed it. I think it was, I'm not sure who the director was. I, you know, I didn't even look. We were too busy talking about how good the movie was. I know, but I I really think it's definitely something people should check out. Yes. And it, one of those, it's one of those movies too. I'm glad they made it rated R, because you know how you could couldn't you tell that if they wanted to, they could have cut it yeah. to like a PG-13 and like yeah. yeah. But I'm glad they didn't go that direction no, with this thing. I am too. It, it just was perfect. So who else is in the movie? It's Nick Frost, Simon Pegg. Right. Uh, um, the one. There's from, there's some cast from S Saturday Night Live. Yeah, Christian too. Wig. Yes. Who is the one that they pick up? The Christian. Yeah. And then Bill H Bill Hader is that the one? I think so. Yeah, but both of them were in SNL. Yeah. And then the one was the guy who was like in a lot of the Judd Apatow movies. Is like kind of the weird guy. Yeah. Remember, he like was like the teacher in Pineapple Express, I think, and a couple other ones. Yep. Now, what would you rate this movie out of stars? What, like out of five? Out stars? of five, I usually say. I'd give it a five. Yeah, I really would. Yeah. I think it's definitely worth seeing, yep. and we saw it early, because I don't think it's out for like three more weeks. Yeah, I don't think it, it's not out until the, the 18th, I believe. I know. The 18th of March. And you said you saw a lot of people said it got some bad reviews. Yeah, online some reviews have been a little eh, but I, I don't know. recommend it. This is amazing. Maybe it's the British humor, like you were saying, because yeah. sometimes people just don't get that. Yeah, but there's not a lot of references to the British stuff that they know. It's a lot of American pop yeah. culture stuff. It is. But I would say it's definitely one to check out. Yes. And I'm not sure what else there'll be in this specific vlog. Maybe there'll be something else? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens next. What are you doing, Victor? I'm pushing a cart at Walmart. Oh. What are we doing here? Oh, we're getting snacks. Yeah, because I, I was looking at MJ's house, and yeah. there was like nothing. Uh, maybe he cooked all his food. For his he might have in those cooking videos. Yeah. 
Maybe they made an everything dish, and you know they put everything in it, oh. and then you know, I don't know. It'll be nasty. I, I didn't tell you, but we had a major problem at the hotel. Uh oh. The toilets were it was totally clogged up for the whole time we were there. The the stench would, could have killed anybody, <laughs> and it was left there for the maids. Oh boy. I, I've been sure. thinking about that all day. Like I wonder what they did when they saw us. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in their shoes. I know. Yeah, they re remodeled this one. Yeah, I, they I, did. Oh, no, it's real different. I'm with Sean. Yes, still. Uts Chips. We just got back from the movie. In, f in California, they don't have any Uts Chips at all. But here, they've got all these Uts. Chips and stuff. They've got the Uts. I'm going to take oh, them back to, to MJ's house.